Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here, bringing you another video from Jerusalem on this interesting uh, conflux in the calendar of events. Today is the 31st of October, which means, of course, it is Halloween. And uh, tomorrow in Israel, it is Yom Habichirot, the uh, election day. We're having our fifth set of elections in four years. So we're getting different kinds of uh, spooks doing the rounds uh, tomorrow than, than there will be tonight. I wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, show a very quick resource I discovered on the internet today, which uh, folks living in Israel buying stuff on the internet, which isn't that the same thing? Everyone here buys online, uh, might find useful. It's called a Machshavon Mas Yavo. Now, I think I just got the Nekudot wrong, the vowelization wrong. And I also want to show you guys or remind viewers, those living in Israel, especially those also learning Hebrew, of the presence of a terrific resource, Google Translate. Now you say to me, Daniel, Google Translate has been around for donkey's years. What are you doing telling us about Google Translate? True, but they only added text to speech support in Hebrew quite recently. So if you ever don't know how to pronounce something in modern Hebrew, the lack of nekudot of written vowelization is the nemesis of many modern Hebrew learners. You can add the Hebrew here and then click on the listen button. So I'm gonna just mute my microphone now so you can hear how to pronounce this properly from a computer at least. Machshavon mas yavu. Machshavon mas yavu. Machshavon mas yavu. Um, so it's funny, after I've discovered this tool, I'm realizing how many Israelis over the last seven years have been so kind to me. I realize now how many things I've been pronouncing horribly, but people here do give you a bit of uh, a bit of time, which is nice. Anyway, I, I don't want to get too far derailed from the topic of this video. So in Israel, if you're buying stuff on the internet, I've done another video about the very, very rudimentary things about the import system here before. The most basic rule is that up to $75 on the value of the item uh, below $75 you won't have to pay typically anything including VAT at 17% and above so above $75 you will have to pay value added tax at the rate of 17% now as I've mentioned before and again this is only applicable at the date I'm uploading this video um, um, that amount is for the value of the product. So if, for instance, let me pick a random item on my desk, this remote control. Let's suppose this remote control was, I bought it for $76 on Amazon and shipping was $14. I would be paying tax on $76. Now let's say this remote control here was $74 and I paid $14 shipping on Amazon. So long as Amazon correctly filled out the customs declaration such that it showed that the $74 is the value of the item and the shipping was what took me over that amount, I'll be good. I won't have to pay any 17% VAT on this hypothetical remote control. Now, there are a couple of weird niggly little exceptions to the rule. Therefore, it's very helpful that the good folks over in the customs department have put together this machshavon mas yavu. Now, I do always recommend, as I've mentioned in a few videos, if you are living in Israel, that wherever possible, you source information in Hebrew and not in English. Now, as I've mentioned a few times, my Hebrew is not perfect and I make a lot of mistakes and my pronunciation is quite comical. But... There are such great tools in terms of Google Translate that even if your Hebrew isn't at that level you want it to be, you can still, it's, you're still going to get better. Typically, you're going to get better, more accurate, more up-to-date information, more everything searching in Hebrew than you are searching in English. So if you go into this Machshavon Mas Yavu, I'm just going to go back in my browser here and put myself down so you can actually see what I'm looking at. This is on the customs.mof.gov.al if you're worried about this being some kind of a phishing scam. It is not. Just make sure you're on an official government domain. You're usually good. And they have it organized by category. So you can go into, for instance, Ba'alei Chaim, which are animals. Um, or you can go into Briut Verifua, uh, health and uh, healing. Labait, Lagan, or Lemisrad for the house, for the garden, and for the office. So let's just go into this category and uh, let's click on Siud Misradi. Now this is basically a public lookup tool um, that they have put up on the internet there so that you can look up for a given uh, product category A 
what the uh, VAT charge is, if there's any exception to the typical rule, in this case they're not. And in this case here, you can also see that there are customs restrictions. Miss Mane, I wasn't sure how to translate the Miss Mane into English actually. Miss Mane, uh, laser markers, right? There's a red flag here coming up and it says, Le Mozarze Kayemet Chukiot Yavu. So uh, for this product uh, category classification, there are additional restrictions on personal import. So anyway, we're not gonna get bogged down into the weeds of laser import laws, but you can use this particular calculation device to blast through based on what you're thinking about importing. And you can see firstly, if there's any exception to the typical rule, let's just go back there one sec, that up to, and you can see here, matril, sorry, matachat la shivimachamesh dollar, below $75, that's Mechir Mozart. Echuz Mam, the VAT percentage is Patur. It's, there is no 17% VAT. Me'al Shivim Vachamesh Dollar, above $75. VAT is going to be 17%. And by the way, that is calculated on, again, shipping is calculated separately. So if it's a $100 item, you're going to pay $17 and it's going to be $117 plus shipping. That's the way it works. That's about all I can, uh, that's about all I wanted to show for today's video. As I mentioned the previous time, I did a little video on import laws in Israel, import uh, amenities or tools such as this. I did stress I'm not a, uh, you know, import professional importer, but I am someone who does buy quite a bit of stuff off the net and I'm used to dealing with these various tools. And again, given that he, he, Israel is a Hebrew speaking country by law, it's uh, not required that everything be translated into English. And when they do, it's really nice. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to get more videos about living in Israel, do in particular check out the Living in Israel playlist on this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.